guys, welcome back to the Shaving Tulsa, and this is your one and only host, Timmy Two Shaves. And today, we are going to be looking at the one, the only, the recently released Ruby Red Creeper. Now, I don't know how they did it. I don't know what they had to do to get to where I've got this in my hands today. But the Holy Black managed to post this online, sell out within about 10 minutes, I think about 7 minutes and get this to my doorstep in just a few days over the weekend i got this this morning but they shipped this on a saturday and it arrived monday morning at my doorstep absolutely fantastic customer service they've got a good rep you guys should check out the holy black if you haven't yet but i wanted to be one of the first ones to go ahead and provide an unboxing video of the ruby red creeper a lot of us have been really excited for it if you guys know me at all you know that I really really like tangerine creeper you know that I like lavender creeper I like a lot of the holy black exclusives and so it's really cool that I got this in my hands that I can go ahead and post a video today of me unboxing it and first things first I was wondering what was racking around in there and we have a holy black button I have to find a place to put this bad boy if you guys got any ideas let me know but holy black button see how it comes packaged everything seems to be very well protected we've got the twine we've got the ruby red creeper i can already smell it through the box and i'm telling you it smells fantastic just based on what i'm smelling right here right now got the ceramic in here all wrapped up and good to go empty box there we go, Ruby Red Creeper. Now the nice thing that they do with the ceramics that I really like is that they do put them in this plastic that they then blow dry to heat shrink it around the ceramics. So that way you don't have the lid moving everywhere. You're not worrying about any damage to your items. And again, the Holy Black's labeling on these things, absolutely spot on, looks gorgeous. There you guys go, Ruby Red Creeper looks awesome i'd still have to say my favorite though is the tangerine creeper because it's got these swirls and sorry if i'm looking off camera it's literally right behind the camera it's just got these swirls you know what i'm gonna grab it real quick so this is probably my favorite release the holy black's ever done it's the tangerine creeper absolutely love that now it does appear that they are using the smaller ceramics on this one it kind of holds it down a little bit tighter than one of these where it does kind of have a little bit of play back and forth. Good lord, that smells absolutely incredible. Now, for those of you guys that didn't watch my menthol, or I don't think I did a video, but I did a podcast. Uh, listen to my podcast on menthol. They were the first ones to really pioneer the whole synthetic menthol craze in their colada. I still think they're probably the best artisan out there with their take on synthetic menthol with the colada. It's very nice. It's very pleasant really enjoy it but I've also got a couple others on here as well just so you guys can see some comparisons so I've got lavender creeper there beautiful art this was actually their first release right here the lavender creeper for the colada Jekyll and Hyde really like this one too decadence right here and I'm currently about to purchase telltale heart regents a few others now we have ruby red creeper And it smells absolutely fantastic. However, in the summer sun, it did get a little warm. <laughs> Got a little warm. So what I'm going to need to do with this is I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, cool this bad boy down, and it's going to be ready, good as new, ready and good to go. A little bit of heat doesn't ruin these soaps. It just needs to cool down. Now, if you sat there and you boiled that sucker, then that would definitely take effect. As far as how it would affect the overall performance of the soap this has just been a little bit of heat in a box in a mailbox while i try to get home so it's a little little runny but we're gonna get that fixed up and the ruby red creeper does not disappoint i love that they use the candle wax on there you can see it looks absolutely fantastic the light's kind of shining through it i can see it kind of bouncing off of my hand it looks fantastic guys Oh man, this looks fantastic. Barrel aged aftershave. And if you guys haven't seen their uh, 
video promo for the Ruby Red Creeper. Check it out. Freaking hilarious. They put a lot of thought into it, but I'm really excited. A friend of mine told me that this smells exactly like uh, grapefruit. Not a candied grapefruit, but a legitimate grapefruit. And I can tell you that the soap smells absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to put that in the refrigerator. You don't want to put ceramics in the freezer because they could crack, uh, but the refrigerator should be perfectly fine or even stored at room temperature. If you keep your apartment, home, anything like that, well, air conditioned, you're gonna be perfectly fine. But I am excited to have received it and I received it so quickly. That's the thing I do like about the Holy Black, even with these special releases, is that they do get you out, uh, or they do get these products out very quickly. So you're not waiting too long, and I know I'm a horribly impatient person when it comes to product. Uh, that's why one of the reasons why I don't typically order anything from overseas is because it takes a million years for it to get here. Um, but that's the nice thing. They're based out of uh, New York. So it doesn't take too long for this product to get here. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to go run to the refrigerator, put the sucker in there so that way I can use it tonight. I'm real excited. Uh, let me know, did you manage to get the Ruby Red Creeper? Are you really excited for it? Did you miss out on it? It was something that you were really anticipating. What happened at checkout for you that you were not able to get this? I was actually out at dinner <laughs> uh, when this happened. I almost forgot about it. Uh, I had like two alarms set on my phone, so that way I remembered. And I also had a friend of mine messaging me, did you get it, did you get it, did you jump in on it? So I hurried and ran on there and uh, was able to nab it pretty quickly, so that was good. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Has this been on your radar? Why or why not? Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Always appreciate it. And again, I'll see you next time on The Shaving Tulsa. Do, 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 down, do, be, do, down, down. Come, come, down, do, be, do, down.